Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Unfortunately, I forgot to record an intro for this video, so here I am doing it with the voiceover. So today we're doing a photo shoot with the lovely Talia, who was fantastic to work with. And we're using my Nikonos V, or Nikonos 5, whatever you want to call it. Shooting some HP 5, which I got pushed to stop. I normally don't like HP 5 unless it's pushed to 1600, so I thought we'd try out the 800 just to help me get more in focus because this is a zone focusing camera so I, I had to shoot at f8, 11 and 16 just to make sure the shots were going to be in focus so that's what we're doing today, let's go. This is a Nikonos which is a waterproof camera that's used for diving, or at least was used for diving back in the day. Okay, so it's been about two years since I've done a swimwear photo shoot, so it was definitely time for me to do another one, just because I, I was getting rusty and I do want to get more kind of fashion jobs, and so hopefully this will help me out with my portfolio. So like I said, I'm not usually a fan of HU5, especially at box speed. It's a really flat film, which I guess is great if you want to edit a lot and add a lot of contrast. Uh -huh. Yeah, hold that, that's good. But I myself, more of a Tri-X guy, because the contrast is already there, and it doesn't have the grayness that I, I seem to get with HP5. Good. Yeah, look over your shoulder to me. I do like these photos, but I do wish I shot it on Tri-X. I only like HP5 when it's pushed to 16 or 3200. And so this shot's really nice. I, I am going to edit this one, but I just didn't do it in time for this video. And now these next shots, you'll kind of see a bit of the difference. I do add in that contrast, but I am trying to keep some of that detail in the clouds. And so this was a photo shoot that was meant to be more in the afternoon with golden hour, but then it ended up being a very cloudy day. I do kind of wish it was a bit sunnier, though clouds and the sky did kind of add something else because it might have been a bit more blown out if they hadn't been there. Get more of an action one, so I might get you face away and then kind of just spin around. So just show me what that looks like. And you can still kind of see the bit of detail in the back there, but because it is black and white, it's not as much going on as if it was color. But we did do some color photos, which will be another video, so keep an eye out. Free to splash me as well, the camera's waterproof. Just splash, keep going. This is actually one of my favorite shots. There's the kind of energy from the splash, and it just shows like some of the cool stuff you can do with a Nikonos and not be worried about your camera getting wet. Yeah, I, I thought this was a bit more fun. I, I have been trying to add a bit more movement into my shoots lately, and so we did do that with this, and I do like this quite a bit too. Your legs more that way? Yeah. And three, two, one. This shot I think could have been a bit better, but yeah, not much we can do now, but... Let's get some with you sitting along that. Even like lying on your side a bit. And here we have Talia basically being a mermaid. And yeah, I, I really wish I shot this with Tri-X. I'm just not happy with HP5, and I know a lot of people love it. It's, it's one of the films that have been around the longest, but it just doesn't work for me. I just... I just don't like it. And I feel a bit hypocritical because it does kind of have flatness that Retro Chrome, which is a film I really like, has, but it's it's still different. Yeah, I am definitely more of a Tri-X guy, I like that contrast. Even the Alpha Deltas I like more than HP5. Yeah, like it's not a bad film, but it's just not the black and white film for me. And so, this is kind of a problem that comes with a viewfinder camera because what you're seeing for the frame isn't exactly where the lens is seeing. So it always is a bit off. This shot turned out fine. And this shot I actually did have to crop in just because I wasn't happy I should have got closer 
but I didn't and so here you see me cropped in and I actually still looks nice cropped in large scans will do that for you but yeah the, the quality of the lens is quite nice it's a pretty sharp lens I don't mind if your hair gets wet with this one. Yeah. Yeah, see if you can float so you're a bit higher in the water. Yeah, that's good. But, um, yeah, when you get closer with a viewfinder camera, your composition is always going to be a little bit off. So, yeah, as you can see, I definitely missed this shot. Yeah, I'll get you to, like, be on your knees. Yeah, play with your hair like that, that's good. Three, two, one. I do really love the Nikonos and the kind of freedom you have because you're not worried about it getting wet. So you can do cool things like you can go diving, you can shoot in the rain, completely free. Of course the drawback is no autofocus, it's all zone focusing. So you do kind of want to be shooting at a higher f-stop, so not exactly the best camera for night or dark times unless you have the flash. But I don't have the flash for it unfortunately, which I would like to get. But I'm not necessarily shooting anything I need it for at the moment anyway, so yeah, I, I, I think it's a great camera and we've done a kind of a video on it before so you can go back and check on that. But I pretty much have used the program mode and then the manual mode and I found the program mode did underexpose more than the manual mode did. So I do recommend doing the manual just to be sure. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to see and maybe I'll do a proper video on just a camera just to really show you all the features so let me know if you want to see that. So there's one coming-ish. Here we go, get ready. And here we have me trying to add more action shots. I actually do like this shot quite a lot. Maybe if she was a bit more towards the center, just a little bit, but I thought it turned out pretty well. Just start over here. Yeah. And go. And unfortunately the next two shots, I was a bit too early with taking the photo. So these shots unfortunately didn't turn out. Though this one looks kind of cool if she was fully in, but yeah, it's, it can be unpredictable when you're trying to add movement to shots. Yeah, that turns out. <laughs> could be great, could be terrible. Yeah, that's good. Look at me as well, yeah. But yeah, I think maybe just because the black bikini adds more contrast, these shots I do like a bit more than the others. But yeah, HP5 is just not the film for me, unfortunately. Even push to 800, that's not enough. I need to push to 1600 or 3200 to get what I like. I mean, they're not that big, but. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you liked the video. Let me know your thoughts on the images in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when there's a new episode. Anyway, I'm Josh. This has been Frames Per Second. Let's thank Talia for being a lovely model. Just get out there, shoot some film.